All right, here I'm gonna show you how I install a butt splice, a common butt splice. Okay, the most important thing about putting in anything electrical, you know, what size you're dealing with. Also, I want to show you there this crimper is also a stripper. You could use this also to strip your wire. I prefer the other type stripper. It does a cleaner, easier job. Okay, so we identified our wire as 18 gauge. Take your stripper, identify wood hole is designed for an 18 gauge wire. Take that, I like stripping a little more than a quarter of an inch off. Seems to always fit my splices and terminal ends just fine. Take that off, inspect your wire. I like to give it a little bit of a twist. Make sure you didn't cut any of the strands in the wire. The, the wire is whole. Take my other piece of wire that I'm going to be using to crimp it to. Go ahead and strip that. Give it a little twist, inspection. Now you slide on your splice real nice because you don't want to bend any of them strands. And on this I like it because you can see the tip of your wire in the center there. You can see through it. Once you have it on there nicely, take your crimp, find out what slot is for whatever size splice you're using. Get it centered as you can eyeball it in there. Go ahead and crimp that down, press it down all the way. And then I like taking the bigger size crimper and, and crimp the back of the splice also, the part that holds the insulation. Uh, I just squeeze that a little bit tight and snug. Don't go crazy with it because uh, sometimes you could cut your wire, cut into your installation and you'll be uh, making your splice not as good as it should be. Again, the other side, we're doing the exact same thing. Like I see, make sure you get that insulation in there so it will hold it. Crimp it down nice and firmly. Get it in the center as you possibly can. Remember, this is just for common butt splices. Whatever splices you have, you need to read the instructions because they might be different. This is just for your common butt splice, but like I said, read the instructions on whatever splice you're using and do it in accordance to them. Hope this video was helpful. Thank you.